During the 1950s and 1960s the Soviet space program used dogs for sub-orbital and orbital space flights to determine whether human spaceflight was feasible. In this period, the Soviet Union launched missions with passenger slots for at least 57 dogs. The number of dogs in space is smaller, as some dogs flew more than once. Most survived, the few that died were lost mostly through technical failures, according to the parameters of the test. A notable exception is Laika, the first dog to be sent into orbit, whose death was expected from the outset. Topic: <laughs> Training. Dogs were the preferred animal for the experiments because scientists felt dogs were well suited to endure long periods of inactivity. As part of their training, they were confined in small boxes for 15 to 20 days at a time. Stray dogs, rather than animals accustomed to living in a house, were chosen because the scientists felt they would be able to tolerate the rigorous and extreme stresses of space flight better than other dogs. Female dogs were used because of their temperament and because the suit the dogs wore in order to collect urine and feces was equipped with a special device, designed to work only with females. Their training included standing still for long periods of time, wearing space suits, being placed in simulators that acted like a rocket during launch, riding in centrifuges that simulated the high acceleration of a rocket launch, and being kept in progressively smaller cages to prepare them for the confines of the space module. Dogs that flew in orbit were fed a nutritious jelly-like protein. This was high in fiber and assisted the dogs to eliminate during long periods of time while in their small space module. More than 60% of dogs to enter space were reportedly suffering from constipation and gallstones on arrival back to base. <laughs> Suborbital flights Dogs were flown to an altitude of 100 km on board 15 scientific flights on R-1 rockets from 1951 to 1956. The dogs wore pressure suits with acrylic glass bubble helmets. From 1957 to 1960, 11 flights with dogs were made on the R-2A series, which flew to about 200 km. Three flights were made to an altitude of about 450 km on R-5A rockets in 1958. In the R2 and R5 rockets, the dogs were contained in a pressured cabin. Topic: <laughs> Desik, Sagan, and Lisa. Desik, Desik and Sagan, Sagan Gypsy, were the first dogs to make a suborbital flight on the 22nd of July 1951. Both dogs were recovered unharmed after traveling to a maximum altitude of 110 kilometers. Desik made another suborbital flight in July 29, 1951 with a dog named Lisa, Lisa Fox, although neither survived because the parachute failed to deploy. After the death of Desik, Sagan was adopted as a pet by Soviet physicist Anatoly Blagonrovov. <laughs> Lisa and Rizik Lisa, Lisa Fox, or Vixen and Rizek, Rizek Ginger, Red Haired, flew to an altitude of 100 km on 2 June 1954. <laughs> Smelaya and Malishka Smelaya, Smel Brave, or Courageous, was due to make a flight in September but ran away the day before the launch. She was found the next day and went on to make a successful flight with a dog named Malishka, Malishka Baby. Topic: <inaudible> Bobik and Zib. Bobik Bobik ran away just days before his flight in September 1951. A replacement named Zib, a Russian acronym for substitute for missing Bobik. Zamena Iskeznovsmu Bobiku. Zamena Eskeznov's Hamu Bobaku, who was an untrained street dog found running around the barracks, was quickly located and made a successful flight. Otvajnaya and Snezinka Otvajnaya brave one, female, made a flight on 2 July 1959 along with a rabbit named Marfusha, Marfusha Little Martha. 
and another dog named Snezinka, Snezinka Snowflake. She went on to make five other flights between 1959 and 1960. <laughs> Albina and Saganka Albina, Albina a real female name and Saganka, Saganka Gypsy Girl were both ejected out of their capsule at an altitude of 85 km and landed safely. Albina was one of the dogs shortlisted for Sputnik 2, but never flew in orbit. <laughs> Damka and Krasivka Damka, Damka Queen of Chequers, and Krasivka, Krasivka Little Beauty were to make an orbital flight on the 22nd of December 1960 as a part of the Vostok program which also included mice however their mission was marked by a string of equipment failures the upper stage rocket failed and the craft re-entered the atmosphere after reaching a suborbital apogee of 214 kilometers in the event of unscheduled return to the surface the craft was to eject the dogs and self-destruct but the ejection seat failed and the primary destruct mechanism shorted out the animals were thus still in the intact capsule when it returned to the surface. The backup self-destruct mechanism was set to a 60-hour timer, so a team was quickly sent out to locate and recover the capsule. Although the capsule was reached in deep snow on the first day, there was insufficient remaining daylight to disarm the self-destruct mechanism and open the capsule. The team could only report that the window was frosted over in the minus 45 degree temperatures and no signs of life were detected. On the second day, however, the dogs were heard barking as the capsule was opened. The dogs were wrapped in sheepskin coats and flown to Moscow alive, though all the mice aboard the capsule were found dead because of the cold. Damka was also known as Shutka, Sutka joke, or Zemchaznaya, Zemchazna Pearly, and Krasivka was also known as Kometka, Kometka Little Comet, or Julka, Zulka Cheetah. After this incident Krasivka was adopted by Oleg Gazenko, a leading Soviet scientist working with animals used in space flights. She went on to have puppies and continued living with Gazenko and his family until her death 14 years later. After the incident Sergei Korolev, who was the designer of the rocket, wanted to make the story public, but was prevented from doing so by state censorship. Bars and Lisichka Bars, bars prawn. Bars. Not. Bars. Snow Leopard. And Lisichka, Lisichka Little Fox, were also on a mission to orbit as a part of the Vostok program, but died after their rocket exploded 28.5 seconds into the launch on 28 July 1960. Bars was also known as Chaker, Keshka, Seagull. Other dogs that flew on sub-orbital flights include Dimka, Dimka Smoky, Modnitsa, Modnitsa Fashionable, and Koziavka, Koziavka Little Nat. At least four other dogs flew in September 1951, and two or more were lost. <laughs> <laughs> Orbital flights Laika Laika Lake Barker became the first living Earth-born creature other than microbes in orbit, aboard Sputnik 2 on November 3, 1957. Some call her the first living passenger to go into space, but many sub-orbital flights with animal passengers passed the edge of space first. She was also known as Juchka Little Bug, and Limonchik, Limonchik Little Lemon. The American media dubbed her Mutnik, making a play on words for the canine follow on to the first orbital mission, Sputnik. She died between five and seven hours into the flight from stress and overheating. Her true cause of death was not made public until October 2002. Officials previously gave reports that she died when the oxygen supply ran out. At a Moscow press conference in 1998, Oleg Gazenko, a senior Soviet scientist involved in the project, stated, the more time passes, the more I'm sorry about it. We did not learn enough from the mission to justify the death of the dog. Belka and Strelka 
Belka, Belka literally, squirrel, or alternatively, whitey, and Strelka, Strelka, little arrow. Spent a day in space aboard Korabl Sputnik 2 Sputnik 5 on 19 August 1960 before safely returning to Earth. They were accompanied by a gray rabbit, 42 mice, two rats, flies and several plants and fungi. All passengers survived. They were the first Earth-born creatures to go into orbit and return alive. Strelka went on to have six puppies with a male dog named Pushik who participated in many ground-based space experiments, but never made it into space. One of the pups was named Pushinka Pusinka, Fluffy, and was presented to President John F. Kennedy by Nikita Khrushchev in 1961. A Cold War romance bloomed between Pushinka and a Kennedy dog named Charlie, resulting in the birth of four pups that JFK referred to jokingly as Pupniks. Two of their pups, Butterfly and Streaker were given away to children in the Midwest. The other two puppies, White Tips and Blackie, stayed at the Kennedy home on Squaw Island but were eventually given away to family friends. Pushinka's descendants are still living today. A photo of descendants of some of the space dogs is on display at the Zvezda Museum in Tomolino outside Moscow. A Russian animated feature film called Belka and Strelka, Star Dogs English title, Space Dogs was released in 2010. Topic. Pyolka and Mushka Pyolka little bee", and Mushka musk", little fly", spent a day in orbit on 1 December 1960 on board Korabl Sputnik 3 Sputnik 6 with other animals, plants and insects. Due to a re-entry error when the retro rockets failed to shut off when planned, their spacecraft was intentionally destroyed by remote self-destruct to prevent foreign powers from inspecting the capsule on 2 December and all died. Mushka was one of the three dogs trained for Sputnik 2 and was used during ground tests. She did not fly on Sputnik 2 because she refused to eat properly. Chernushka. Chernushka Blackie, made one orbit on board Korabl Sputnik 4 Sputnik 9 on 9 March 1961 with a cosmonaut dummy whom Soviet officials nicknamed Ivan Ivanovich, mice and a guinea pig. The dummy was ejected out of the capsule during re-entry and made a soft landing using a parachute. Chernushka was recovered unharmed inside the capsule. Zvyozdochka. Zvyozdochka, Zvezdochka, Zvezdochka, Starlet, who was named by Yuri Gagarin, made one orbit on board Korabl Sputnik 5 on the 25th of March 1961 with a wooden cosmonaut dummy in the final practice flight before Gagarin's historic flight on the 12th of April. Again, the dummy was ejected out of the capsule while Zvezdochka remained inside. Both were recovered successfully. Topic. Veterok and Yugoyok Veterok, Veterok light breeze, and Yugoyok, Yugoyok coal, were launched on of February 1966 on board Cosmos 110, and spent 22 days in orbit before landing on 16 March. This spaceflight of record-breaking duration was not surpassed by humans until Soyuz 11 in June 1971 and still stands as the longest spaceflight by dogs. Topic. See also Animals in Space Cosmo comics. Felicit, first cat in space List of individual dogs Monkeys and non-human apes in space The Museum of Jurassic Technology has an eternal flame dedicated to Laika and a portrait gallery of the USSR's space dogs Sputnik program Voskhod program